Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. Recently, much of the U.S. was swept up in baseball fever as the World Series pitted against each other the two teams that had reached the top of their respective leagues. And while we'd all like to think that the game is wholesome and the competition pure and unsullied, we know that some teams will do anything they can to get a slight edge, and those tactics aren't always on the up and up. Let's face it, cheating in baseball has been around pretty much as long as baseball. Uh, petroleum jelly on the ball, cork in the bats, sign stealing, these have been around for decades. Now, that last one, sign stealing, not necessarily against the rules. Now, if I'm a batter, I can glance back and try and see what the catcher is showing to the pitcher to figure out what ball is going to be pitched. Not technically against the rules, but really a Bush League move likely to get me a little chin music. Now, I could have a base runner watch the catcher, get the sign, and then somehow relay that information to me. Also, perfectly up and up. However, once you introduce any technology at all into the mix, it immediately becomes an illegal activity, even something as simple as a telescope. Or you can look back as far as the 1950s to see instances of this, maybe even further. But that was 70 years ago, and technology has come a long way since then. So I started thinking, how might someone cheat at the noble game of baseball using today's technology? Now, let's assume for a moment that I am a dishonest man. And perhaps I work for a baseball team. And maybe that team somehow has made it to the championship game. But that team loses and comes in second. And maybe they have a coach who's a world-class drunk, just better at drinking than he is at coaching baseball. I think we all know who I'm talking about here. I'm talking, of course, about the Bad News Bears from the 1976 classic movie of the same name. So, for my nefarious scheme, I want to place myself far enough away from home plate that I'm not conspicuous. So, probably deep center field. Actually, since we're using technology, why would I sit there? I'll just put a high-res camera out there, and that way I can watch the monitor from, I don't know, anywhere. The snack bar, the hallway from the dugout back to the locker rooms, pretty much any place. Now the trick is how to get that information to the batter in real time. Now I could do something laughingly primitive like, I don't know, bang on a garbage can, but I've got technology on my side and I'm not afraid to use it. So here's my play. I'm going to use a pair of Thing Plus LoRa Explorables, one as the transmitter, one as the receiver. Now I, as the assumed dishonest man, will have the transmitter in my hand. I watch the signal from the catcher and then I just simply push a button and send that information to my batter. With four buttons, I can send four separate signals. I mean, actually, if I wanted to get crazy, I could use button combinations and send 10 different signals, but I think that might be overkill for this. Now, the real magic happens on the receiver side. The receiver side has the other LoRa Explorable, a LiPo battery, and a haptic driver. Now, I use the haptic driver just for ease of construction, but you could use the haptic driver kit, so all you need on top is the tiny vibration motor. Tape that to your chest, drop the explorable into your pocket, and you now have a completely inconspicuous way to receive those signals. And by using LoRa boards, I can get a line of sight range of easily 125 meters. That's like three times the distance from home plate to the center field wall at, I don't know, Minute Maid Park, or really any major league stadium, I guess. Now, again, this is for demonstration purposes only. I am certainly not condoning nor encouraging cheating, and in fact, I think it shows a distinct lack of moral character in anyone who feels they need to do that in order to compete. Now, on the other hand, if you are a spy and say you want to use this to warn a fellow agent as to how many assailants are headed his way, well then, not only do I encourage that behavior, but I will happily come down to Langley and help you set it all up. Well, that's what I have here on baseball. Until next time, remember, stay honest, go Bears, and happy hacking. Hi there, I'm Bent Slightly. <laughs> That's my newscaster name. <laughs> and baseball fever, as the world, world. And while we'd all like to think that the game is wholesome, let's face it, cheating has been around in baseball. Ah. And while we'd all like to think that the competition is pure and the game is, ah. <laughs> that the game is wholesome. Pure and the competition, wholesome. Wholesome, the game is wholesome. Wholesome game of baseball. Oh, wholesome.